Okay. <coughs> so here we are. First wave of the pre-orders have come out for the new Space Marines. So let's have a look at what we've gained, if anything. First pre-order. The first company task force. So that's the Ultramarines first company, which is a veteran company after being mostly wiped out on the Siege of McCrag. So what what do you get? Sword of Termes, Sword of Close Combat Termes, two squads of Stern Guard. How many? Yep, two swords of Stern Guard. The two t two normal Terminator squads. One close combat terminator squad and two squads of Vanguard veterans. That's hundred and ninety four pounds. Hmm. So there's nothing really new there. It's all same models. <coughs> We're looking for new stuff. Ten man assault squad. Hmm. So ten man assault squad. Uh, this is with the new Assault Marine kit they've released. So, what's different? The Sergeant looks like he's wielding an Eviscerator. A Marine that's not the Sergeant is holding a Plasma Pistol. Okay. So can you upgrade members of the squad with that weapon now? I'll be interested. Ones with Flamer. There's the one with the Plasma. Yeah, yeah, showing off the details. Alright, they've actually got terrain bases built with them. It's not bad. Now let's check the price. 50 quid. 50 pounds for 10 assault marines. Are you kidding me? 50 quid for 10? Um, uh, that's insulting. Ultramarine paint bundle, yay, that's not new. The five man version of the assault squad for 25 quid. <sighs> Blood Angel transfer sheet, okay, what, what do you get on the transfer sheet? Anything really good, or is it just the smaller version logos? Oh no, ooh, you get a lot of quite detailed little decals you also get a few banners uh, decals are on the command squad banners alright they're quite nice that's quite nice but I'd hope it to be for 15 quid then you got a dark angel one and an ultramarines one okay oh oh that's Slightly worrying, but Games Workshop's not that stupid. So, okay. <clears throat> upgrade packs. So you've got the Blood Angel upgrade pack, Dark Angel upgrade pack, Ultramarines upgrade pack, and the Space Wolves upgrade pack. All of them are 8 quid each. All are coming with 10 shoulder pads, so you can do out a whole squad with them. All of them look really high detailed. Each come with a few head options. A specialist, I assume, sergeant or captain chest plate. It's quite nice. All come with an assortment of close combat weapons, I assume, for the sergeant or captain, whoever you're upgrading with this kit. Um, hmm. At first, when I heard about the upgrade packs, my first worry was that they'd encompass all the codexes into one. But then I realised Games Workshop loves money, so there you go. But this is one thing I wanted to check. Out of memory, there were already upgrade packs available. It, this isn't a new thing. So I'll check that now. Yeah, the upgrade packs. Black Templars Chapter Upgrade Pack is 20 quid. And that includes quite a lot. The Kill Team Death Watch Conversion Kit 
Alright, that's more expensive, but it's a kill team. It's an outdated game. The Night Lords conversion pack. One, two, three, yep. It's ten, ten heads and one specialist sword for your sergeant. The Thousand Sons upgrade pack. Can you buy Thousand Sons as Thousand Sons? Guess not. Hmm. Uh, what else we got? Bastion upgrade pack. The Von. No, that's fantasy. Fantasy. The Elder Storm Guardian upgrade pack. So that's the close combat ones. The Iron Hands upgrade pack. Yeah, that's all the mechanical bits you put on them. Chaos Space Marine upgrade pack. So this isn't something new. So you've already got uh, the Crimson Fist one, which is £9. Uh, there's less there. The Iron Warriors upgrade pack. Not much there. Another Crimson Fist one, not much there. This is... Uh, it's just not much there. I couldn't recommend it. <clears throat> Crimson Fist Command Squad upgrade pack is £8. That's got some nice stuff in it. The Shield Drone upgrade pack, because that's Tau. And then it's advertising the new ones. Huh. I don't know what to say. They've released a few bits. None of it really seems major. It's one new squad. And I know about the leaked images of the new Devastator squad. <coughs> oh, sorry about that. So we at least got two new squads. Um... Mm, this codex is gonna blow. The rumours are going around of them removing stuff. They, the first wave, they've mostly given us nothing. I assume the codex itself will be in the second wave. Who knows, actually. It's Games Workshop. But, they're, they're not giving us much.